Okay, so I've been getting a lot of people asking me about this util library that I have for Advent of Code. Um, it's really not not really special. Like, uh, it's pretty. It's actually pretty lame. But I thought I'd record a video, uh, kind of going through it because uh, my code is like horrible and people wanted to read it and my code is unreadable usually so uh yeah um got a bunch of js files here uh this is 2021 solutions that i rec recoded um past few weeks to derust um, um most of this actually i wrote in 2021 after advent of code finished because I knew that if I didn't do it right then and there, <laughs> I was going to be too lazy to ever do it. So, uh, yeah, I did it. Um, and the very first thing I wrote was this, was I think this, like, library for doubly linked lists, which is so bad, and it's just so completely broken. Like, this, this just doesn't work like these functions just don't work in subtle ways and I n have known the problem for like a week now and I mean you can you can probably see it right here what is this skip thing what is this what what is any of this <laughs> like, uh, and these functions are just like the names are node behind node behind insert behind node, insert node, insert node ahead, <laughs> it's insert node ahead, insert ahead node, and insert node ahead node. <laughs> it's so bad, but like, um, uh, yeah, it's, I, I've known the problems for like a week now, and I've been too lazy to rewrite this, so there's the linked list file. Um, What's next? This is I put it all in one out.js file. What's next? Uh, points. So this is like kind of like vectors. Um, I just put in janky three-dimensional vector support like yesterday. No, not yesterday. Like three days ago. It was really bad. Um, like it's it's it's. <laughs> I can't even explain it. It's just like. I, didn't, I forgot I wrote these functions, okay. Um, it's just really cursed, this. Uh, it doesn't, this actually, it doesn't get so cursed yet. It gets cursed when you look at the point arrays, which I will get to eventually. Um, we have grids, because grids are everywhere. Now I've been of code, I noticed. So it's just like, you know, makes a 2D array. It's just rectangular grids does not work very well for uh, the negative stuff. It's not like dynamically resizable or anything. So there was one, I remember I was doing one advent of code problem that was like going out in a spiral and you had to like, I, I don't remember, but like the, the, the grid, this, this does not work for that even though it's like a 2D grid. You'd think that you could use my, my grid class, but no. You can't. It just it, it just doesn't work. Um, uh, yeah, some classic cursed stuff. Cursed stuff. Oh, BFS. Uh, bread for bread first breadth first search. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is horribly broken. It's like it's it's just. <laughs> it uses like a hundred times more memory than you would expect anything to but it's like kind of generalized uh breadth first search um i think that's about it i did not know i had this okay cool oh this turns it into this turns the grid into a graph uh and we can use that to go to the graph library I just keep saying library. These are not libraries. These are like 
hundred line cringe files JS files. Um, this is basically just I, I I wanted to not have to type out Dijkstra's algorithm every single time. So I did this. I don't know what any of this is. Like I wrote this a year ago, probably at like four a.m. This I think it technically works, but it's just like completely wrong. It's not wrong, but it's just like really slow. Like it's many orders of magnitude slower than Dijkstra's algorithm would it, should ever be. So I have a feeling there's just multiple really bad oversights in here. Uh, but and I really should fix it. I was gonna fix it today but I've been lazy again. Uh, what else? What's next? Oh, heap. Yeah, there's a heap. I coded this for the priority queue for Dijkstra's. It literally just has the functions for that and no other application, so this is useless. Um, <laughs> starting to see a theme here, I think. Uh, this is most of the actual stuff. This is I just overload the prototypes of like arrays and objects and stuff, so a bunch of utilities. Um, this is the point array <laughs> class, which just kind of like, uh, uh, you just like, it just like absorbs. It's basically just there so that I can have my utility functions and also things like index of and stuff work for arrays of points, uh, but it's evolved into this whole like parallel ecosystem <laughs> of point arrays like parallel to regular arrays, and sometimes I mix them, it's just really weird. As you can see I'm doing cursed JavaScript prototype stuff, like, it's just, it's just, it, it's just not good, <laughs> and your programs will horribly break in every possible way, and nothing will work the way you expect it to. You will be in Wonderland if you try to use point arrays, but you won't have a choice because a lot of the functions, like grids and stuff, just return point arrays. So you just won't have a choice. Um, yeah, you you will be screwed. <laughs> I think that's almost it, actually. Yeah. Uh, this is was supposed to be the utilities. They all went to the prototypes for like arrays and stuff. So now I just have this like lame utilities object. Just does nothing useful. And um, this is just for when I'm running in Node, which I did like once. I wanted to have it run in Node too. This like. Uh, does tests for the 2021 solutions, make sure they pass, and this just like starts the debuggers. You can jump in a REPL from Node. Um, 2021 solutions. Uh, uh, I just want to show my day 19. This is the worst. This is the worst thing I've ever coded. That's a that's a lie, but it's pretty bad. It hurts. Um, yeah, I guess that's it.